four world champions, two defending world champions. It's, it's incredible. No. Oh, that... Down he goes. Oh. Down he goes. And is he going to get up? It's a body shot. It's a body Six. shot that's done it, I think. And I don't think he's getting up. Nine. Well, it's all Nine. over right yeah. here in the opening round. Well, what about that? Here we come. Bang. Oh, yeah, that's the shot there. Well, there's a left hand and a right hand. Yeah. Your winner by way of knockout and still the unified WBA Super and IBF Super Lightweight Champion of the World, Josh the Tartan Tornado Taylor. How good a shot was that body shot? Well, that's sank right in. I felt it, I felt it sinking in straight away. Um, I knew from watching him on videos of him, like, he, he swings on the break when you're in close on the clinch. He swings straight away, always with a hook or an uppercut. So I seen that coming and I just, I sort of, like, pressed in against him, but, like, smothered him up and then I pushed him against the ropes and as he threw the right hand, I hit him with the left hook, which I felt sinking right in. So, so you knew he was going to go down and you knew that was it? You, you yeah, knew I knew that, that was, was a, a real good shot and I felt it was sinking in. Um, I didn't know that, that it hurt him to the extent until I turned around and seen him lying on the floor. Um, but when I watched it on the replay there, you can see it, it sunk right in, I felt it going right through my arm, so I knew, I knew it was a good shot. Now, it was only two minutes and 41 seconds of it, but I'm going to put something to you. I like the look of him. He was big, he yeah. was rangy. OK, he left himself a bit open when, when yeah, he lifted yeah. his elbows up, but he looked, I'm going to ask you, was he as heavy-handed as he looked? 100%, yeah. Um, I could go as far as saying, I know people go, I right, you're talking about nonsense here, but I could go as far as saying that's the heaviest puncher I've been in with. Um, as a professional, very heavy-handed, because he came out straight away and stiff jab, and I thought he was quite strong. And then he lunged in with the one-two, and he kind of half nicked his on the end of the on the shot. But never hurt his or nothing, but I felt the weight of it, you know, straight away. So I knew he was very heavy-handed. So then that switched me on to take my time and set things up and be patient rather than going and try and land a heavy shot straight away. I was nice and patient and set that shot up, which come off the end of the break. And also, Ben, how big was he? I mean, he seems to have not just put on a stone and a half, he have gained a couple of inches. Yeah, ginormous. He's big, he's tall, he's long. Um, you know, we knew going into that he was going to be a tough fighter. And we knew, and I said before all the way through, not just saying it for the sake of saying it, he was a dangerous opponent. And that shot, the finishing shot, when that came in, you probably had a better view of it than me because I was looking at the guy's back. You probably saw it. Did you, like Josh, know that was it? Once that was in, that was I it. I didn't know that was it, you know, but we knew that he was very, very big at the shoulders and we spoke about him being very narrow at the waist. Um, so it was something that, that was spoke about, about him not being as strong to the body. Um, but it was a fantastic jo shot that Josh found. And Josh is a, a phenomenal body puncher, one of the best in the world, as he's shown again, so... Now... Of course, it's lovely to get a world title defence, a couple of belts, and you do two minutes and 41 seconds. <laughs> it is nice, but did you want did you want some more rounds? Would you have preferred some more yeah, rounds? Yeah, I was. I, you know what? It was a great shot, lovely shot. But we we we've been working on the gym, and I would like to have shown what we've been working on and polishing up on. You know, I felt great there. You know, just nice and patient, straight away, nice and patient and poised. Um, I would like to have shown a bit more what we've been working on and shown that what Ben and I have been improving on. Um, but you know what, you don't get paid overtime and got him out there straight away, so I can go and get my, my usual after fight pint and uh, pizza. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. just what? relaxing now. Yeah, you'll have to find somewhere, because it has gone 10, but oh, that's, yeah, not, right that's, enough, a, yeah. that's a different story. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find somewhere. Or tomorrow now, then. Let's throw it forward, OK? Now, you've talked about opponents going forward. Ramirez, obviously, in the dream fight, would be outdoors, Edinburgh. Castle next summer. Mm -hmm. Do you really want to wait another nine months, eight months, seven no, months? No, 100%. I want Ramirez next, 100%. He's a very good champion. You know, he's, uh, he's unbeaten like myself, hungry at the top of his game. You know, I thought against the Postal fight, it wasn't a very good performance at all. Um, you know, I do feel he can perform better than that, you know, given the circumstances. But again, I wasn't impressed with what I've seen from him. Um, again, I want that fight now. I, I believe uh, I whip his ass all day long. You know, um, I just believe I've got the beating of him. Um, I never seen anything from him that I haven't seen before. So, yeah, I want that fight as soon as possible. Obviously, I know the situation with um, the mandatory and stuff, but hopefully we can sort of get that worked out. And um, I would like it for selfish and personal reasons to get that fight next. I feel I deserve it. Um, Been in big fight after big fight for my last four fights. Not ducked anyone. Um, Never ducked a tournament like someone else. 
So, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm game, you know, that I'll, I'll fight the best whenever they want. And I would, to be honest, I would rather wait until, um, until the fans were back for that fight. You know, it's a, it's a huge fight. I think it's one of the biggest fights in boxing at the minute for all the belts. So a fight of that magnitude, I think it would be better with the fans there, either on, on these shores or in America. And of course, you, you're referring there to the situation with the WBO and Ramirez yeah. with Jack Cattle, 120 odd days, probably only 90 of those days left yeah. to negotiate. Is there not a way that you can sort that out through back channels? I mean, you know, it's the boxing business. It doesn't have to be all done on Twitter. You can sort, yeah. is there a way to sort out with back Josh channels, with, in your opinion? Josh is with the best in the business in MTK, so. Yeah. 100%, so I'd leave that to my management team. So I do believe we can probably get something sorted, but you know, we never know. You know, I'll just I leave that to my team and to my management team to sort that out. But personally, of course, I want that fight. Um, if uh, Jack Carroll does get a shot, then he does deserve it. You know, he, I can see from his point of view as well, because he's been mandatory for a very long time. And if I was him, I wouldn't want to be waiting either and stepping aside money or whatever like that. You know, I, I would want my shot if I was Jack Carroll as well. So I can see where he's coming from. But personally, I want to fight next.